and welcome back to Little Evangelist. I hope you're all having a good summer. But remember to stay safe because recently a doctor has said he's had a lot more children coming into hospital with fractures, broken arms and broken legs. So whatever you're doing in the sun, make sure you're staying safe. On the 29th of June, it's the feast day of St. Peter and St. Paul. But don't worry if you don't know too much about them because some of our friends are here to share more about them and also about what they do in their daily routine in lockdown. So without further ado, let's go and watch the video. Hello everyone, I'm Peter. And I'm Paul. And these are our stories. Hey, I'm Peter. I used to be a fisherman catching fish for a living when one day my brother Andrew brought this name named Jesus claiming he was the Messiah. I didn't believe it at first, but then, can you guess what happened next? He helped us catch a lot of fish that the boat even started to sink. I thought this was amazing since we couldn't catch a single fish last night. Next, he told me that I will be a fisher of man. I didn't understand him at first, but after I received the Holy Spirit at Pentecost, I re realized that I was meant to catch people for the kingdom of God. This one time I was walking to the temple with my friend John and saw a man who couldn't walk begging for money and I told him, I have no silver or gold, but what I do have I give you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, stand up and walk and immediately he regained strength and started to walk. Did you know I was the first Pope? This happened after Jesus said my name is no longer Simon but Peter which means rock, saying that I will be the foundation. Okay, Peter, I think you've said enough. Now it's my turn. Hi, I'm Paul, and this is how I met Christ. My name used to be Saul, and I was a Pharisee, which means I hurt Christians badly. One day, I was on my way to a place called Damascus because I heard there was a lot of Christians there, when suddenly a huge light appeared in front of me, and that light was Jesus. I've heard of him, but I never believed in him and thought he was real. He asked me, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? Because of the bright light I couldn't see for three days and after this I changed my life forever and my name from Saul to Paul. I travelled across the world to places like Athens to talk to the Corinthians and went to Rome and talked to the Galatians and many more to preach and talk about the kingdom of heaven. God has been so good to me. This one time, me and my friend Silas were put in jail for telling people about God. We thought we had no hope, when suddenly an angel of the Lord came, broke our chain and freed us. So hope you guys liked our story. We pray that you too may experience Christ. Also, did you know that our feast day was on the 29th this coming Monday? We will keep you in our prayers. God bless. Bye. Hey guys, in the name of Jesus Christ, I welcome you back to the Little Evangelist YouTube channel. By the grace of God, I will be sharing my lockdown routine. Most days we wake up at 5.30 in the morning and study till 7. Then we get ready to join morning family prayer. At 7.30 we join live adoration and say a full rosary as a family. At 8 o'clock we join live holy mass and we pray for the day. After Holy Mass, we help our brothers get their breakfast. After breakfast, we help our brothers with their home learning. We have online lessons 10 to 3 every day, which includes meets, lessons and breaks. During our breaks, we help prepare lunch. After our lessons, we sometimes say our personal rosary or a divine message. We come back inside and we help with cooking, cleaning and we take a shower. At around 6 o'clock we have family prayer then we have dinner. Later at 9 o'clock as a family we say the Sacred Heart of Jesus Novena. Then we watch an episode of Abishai Gatni praying for all the people who are suffering from Covid-19 and all who have died. When we watching Abishai Gatni we either watch some TV or read the Bible. This is my daily routine at the moment. I would like to say a word of God for all of you. Romans 9.16 So it depends not on human will or exertion, but on God who shows mercy. Now let's say a prayer. Merciful God, please show your mercy to all your children around the world. Amen. 
Thank you so much for watching. I hope this has encouraged you to help your parents play with your siblings and to attend your lesson. Philippians 4.13 I can do all things through him who strengthens me. Peter was a believer of Jesus, but at that time, King Herod ordered Peter to be thrown into prison because he believed Jesus. While Peter was in jail, his friends were praying for him, and he had 16 guards watching over him. Can you imagine having 16 guards just for Peter? But that night, an angel appeared, and the guards carried him sleeping. The angel said, get up and the chains which were holding Peter down were broken, he was free. Peter followed the angel, he thought he was dreaming. He walked past all the guards, right into the city. And it wasn't until he reached the city that he realised he was free. Much like Peter, there are things which can hold us down. But when the Holy Spirit comes, he will break these chains and we will be free.